What's good? Hold on, man. What's good, everybody? What? God damn. My bad, y'all. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another video. We got another reaction. Um, this reaction is gonna be big and juicy. Yeah, I don't even sound right. This this reaction we got here is top 20 biggest Tesla crashes of 2022. And, um, it's gonna be a long video, y'all, so y'all get y'all popcorns, y'all drinks, and we about to go ahead and get it in for 22 minutes. Might be a little bit more because I'm gonna be reacting, so. Let's get it. We've already released 20 episodes with clips from over 400 Tesla accidents. We took a look at the data. Y'all don't know, Tesla got cameras all around the car. Tesla got cameras all around their car, so they can see every angle of what's going on. Left, right, back, front, side. Data selected the clips you watched the most and put them together into this list of the 20 biggest Tesla crashes of the year so far. Enjoy. enjoy it all right. Max was driving his Model 3 down the highway in Oak Grove, Kentucky. He was in the right lane using autopilot when he approached a semi truck driving in the left lane. The truck had been riding in the left lane for a few miles, so Max decided. to continue past him in the right lane. Just as he was passing, the truck driver changed lanes, clipping the back end of the Tesla. That caused the Model 3 to spin out in front of the semi, but the driver didn't notice and just kept driving, pushing Max along in front of him at 70 miles per hour. Autopilot warned Max just before the two vehicles made contact, but it was too late for him to avoid the accident. He also says Autopilot attempted to steer away from the truck, but the force of the semi pushing it was too much for the steering to fight back against. The semi pushed Max for approximately half a mile before the driver finally stopped, apparently because he felt that there was something wrong. He felt some resistance against his truck, but he never saw the Tesla. It wasn't until the truck completely stopped that the driver finally saw people jumping out from in front of him. When he opened his door, he saw the Tesla for the first time. Let this be a lesson. Blind spots are dangerous. Police were called to the scene and the Model 3 was... That's why I don't drive. I'm trying to drive beside 18 wheelers or drive behind it. Cause you know, behind it, they be kicking up those little pebbles and shit, those little teeny rocks and cracking a window. I think he's all right though. He don't look was towed to a body shop. The truck driver was found to be at fault and the repair estimate came to 20,000 US dollars. Repairs took two months to complete due to parts delays. Max had only owned his Tesla for a few weeks, so it has now spent more time in the shop than it spent being driven. He's looking forward to getting back behind the wheel. Alan says he's always had full confidence in autopilot. At least he did until this happened. He was stuck in stop and go traffic, so he'd set his follow distance to the closest setting. But then traffic cleared up and his Tesla had sped up to 55 miles per hour in a 65 mile per hour zone. This is when traffic suddenly piled up and a Honda stopped too quickly for autopilot to react in time. Oh, 
Allen took over at the last second, but he wasn't able to avoid a collision. Tesla drivers can set a follow distance from 1 to 7, a setting which determines how much distance you want to maintain between your Tesla and the vehicle ahead of you. Each setting corresponds to a time-based distance that represents how long it takes for the Tesla, from its current location, to reach the location of the rear bumper of the vehicle ahead of you. Allen told us he has since set his follow distance to the maximum setting of 7. The highway right, patrol Alan. arrived and every Alan, I promise we would drive. I could drive dead out the way. Everyone involved in the accident was unharmed. An insurance claim was filed at the scene, and the initial estimate to repair Allen's Tesla was seven thousand US dollars, but the total cost ended up being twenty-five thousand US dollars, and repairs took four months to complete. Nikki was driving his Model Y south on I-5 in Portland, Oregon. He was driving at 40 miles per hour when he overtook a pickup hauling a camper. Nikki saw that traffic ahead was slowing down, but the pickup driver didn't notice in time and ended up plowing into a car hauler at full speed. Dang. Dang. Nikki noticed the driver wasn't slowing down, so he quickly swerved to avoid being involved in the collision. Nikki called the police and both drivers ended up being okay. What were you doing? Texting? My god, dang. Messed up the other dude truck out on the trail. Hey, good thing it is already on the trail. You just take it. Take it wherever you need to go at. Keith was driving his Model Y in Los Angeles, California when traffic in the lanes to the left had all stopped. He moved over to the right lane to get a clear path. As he approached a traffic light, the light turned green and he started to cross the intersection. Unfortunately, the stopped vehicles in the left lane blocked his view of a red light runner. Oh, snap. A Honda slammed into the driver's side door of the Tesla, spinning it around. The bumper ripped out a signpost and shattered it into pieces. Hilariously, the bumper cover of the Honda that had caused all this mayhem rested calmly next to the wrecked Tesla, but the driver wasn't as calm. The driver of the Honda got out and walked over to Keith, but then he rushed back to his banged up Honda and sped off, making this a hit and run. Even though the Honda driver left his bumper cover at the scene of the crime, there was no license plate on it. The car didn't have license plates at all for that matter. Keith called the police, but they informed him they wouldn't be responding to the scene because he was uninjured and it was only a hit and run. Keith called a tow truck That's and fired. crazy though, he Why? He got hit though. Because of the hit and run. You're not gonna respond to that? Cause I heard that they only respond to like if you injured or something like that. You hurt. But it was like a fender bender or some shit like that. They ain't coming out. Put it on the sound. You're like a fender bender. Swap my insurance. Yeah. Filed an insurance claim. His car is still in the repair shop. Andrew was driving down the freeway in Lake Forest, California, when he saw a silver Jeep abruptly stopping and about to enter his lane. As Andrew started to go around him, a white Jeep rear-ended the silver Jeep, causing it to crash into the side of Andrew's Tesla and pushing him into a lane of faster-moving traffic. The driver of a white Honda Odyssey said she wasn't expecting another car to suddenly be in her lane, so she didn't have time to break before rear-ending the Model Y. There ended up being six vehicles involved in the accident. After the white Jeep rear-ended the silver Jeep, it continued to plow through and rear-ended a BMW. The silver Jeep was also rear-ended a second time by a white Mercedes. The California Highway Patrol arrived on scene to take a report. Andrew is still waiting on the final verdict from the police report and action from his insurance provider, but the officers at the scene did indicate that the driver of the white Jeep will most likely be found to be at fault. This was my skin before yeah, using Curology, and now I've been using it since the start of 2022. My skin. Justin was driving his one-month-old Model S Plaid in Washington Township, New Jersey. 
He had his six-month-old son in the back seat and autopilot was engaged. He was driving straight down the road when an oncoming car crossed the double yellow lines and drove into him. Dude, what are you doing? Justin immediately Why checked on his son in the back seat and he was just giggling as if he was having the time of his life. The other driver ended up in someone's front yard on Justin's side of the road. Emergency services were quick to arrive at the scene and officers issued the other driver a ticket for failure to maintain their lane. Justin only sustained a busted lip and some neck pain, but his car was not so lucky. Justin filed an insurance claim and the repair estimate from Tesla came in around 80,000 US dollars. In the end, Justin's insurance company deemed the car a total loss. They cut him a check for almost 150,000 US dollars, which included the price of the car and all the extra. Yeah, y'all just had a total of that. I, I'm, not, I'm not getting paying like $80,000 for that. Features like autopilot as well as his custom wrap. Justin is hoping Elon will see this and give him early access to one of the new colors deep crimson, <laughs> abyss blue, or mercury silver for his yeah, new yeah, plaid model car, S. Baby. Justin visited his car at the scrapyard where he took this final video of his beloved Tesla. As you can see, he titled the video She's Totaled. But she also might have saved your son's life, Justin. I consider that an absolute win. Thanks for sharing, Justin. Yeah. It's sad to see that. Yeah, cool, I guess when you get an accident like that, the hand will pop out. So maybe if you need help or something, it needs to be rushed out. Or maybe it just malfunction. I don't know. Our first submission from a Model S Plaid owner ended up being a crash video. It definitely was intense, but keep watching because this episode is about to get a whole lot crazier. Gina was driving her Model Y in Atlanta, Georgia. She wasn't using autopilot since she was driving on a bumpy local road with a speed limit of only 25 miles per hour. As she crossed through an intersection, a woman in a Ford F-150 ran a red light, T-boning her Tesla. The entire rear mm -hmm. axle broke off as she continued rolling forward. She tried to brake yeah, frantically, but the brakes didn't respond. Yeah, Luckily, she it. wasn't on- Glad the wood is being ripped off easily. Plus, I got no engine or nothing, so most of that stuff probably not really attached too good. On a very steep slope, so the Model Y didn't pick up much speed, but she still managed to roll into a parked work truck. The lady in the Ford tried to tell Gina that she had a green light and that it was Gina who ran a red light. Police arrived quickly to the scene and when the officer reviewed the Tesla cam footage, he told Gina, oh, you're good, definitely her fault. Gina asked if we could give a shout out to her nine-year-old nephew, Jayus. He's a huge Tesla fan and he's the one who told her to send this video to Wham Bam Tesla Cam. Nice job, Jayus. Nice job, Jayus. Jalen was driving his Model 3 in Rockford, Illinois. As he approached an intersection, the light turned yellow. This intersection has a rather long yellow light, so Jalen says he knew he had time to make it. The car coming toward him seemed to think he was going to stop and turned in front of him. The Chevrolet hit the side of Jalen's Tesla, which sent it up on a curb where it got some hang time before crashing back down. Jalen managed to regain control, brake, and steer away from the SUV in the lane in front of him. Everyone involved in the accident ended up being okay. Jalen thinks both of them could have avoided this accident, but in the end it was determined that Jalen had the right of way. The police were quick to arrive and they both filed their respective insurance claims. But he had the right of way though. The other dude, he could have stopped though. Avoid the accident. He got a slam on break, but it really wasn't his fault because he had his yellow light. But at the same time, you know, you got to slow down, too. That's why I was at the scene. Jalen is light. working with the insurance companies, but so it's far it looks like they're going to total the car since it sustained over 40,000 U.S. That's a lesson to everybody. Make sure you stop at the intersection where you're about to turn it. Make sure they stop before you turn at the yellow light dollars in damage. Jalen wants us to give a shout out to his friend Felipe who told him about the Wham Bam channel and encouraged him to send the footage in. Thanks Felipe. Marcel was driving home in his Model X one rainy night on the German Autobahn. As he approached a semi truck, the driver started to merge into his lane. Marcel didn't react in time to avoid a collision, so he lost control and crashed into the trailer. 
Marcel was alone in the car and he was fortunately uninjured. The truck driver said he didn't think the accident was his fault and that it was actually Marcel's fault for crashing into him. Police arrived while they continued to argue. The police were able to view the Tesla cam footage inside Marcel's Tesla right there on the highway and they immediately found the truck driver to be 100% at fault for making an unsafe lane change. Marcel filed an insurance claim with the truck driver's insurance provider and since the initial repair estimate so You can do that then right there on the spot. I'm like, hey man, I got my Tesla can. Go ahead and look at that on right man. Don't have to wait until court to do this shit. Let's do this and get it over with. So I get paid. Estimate from Tesla was sixty thousand U.S. dollars. The car has been deemed a total loss. Aaron was driving his Model 3 on a highway in Pennsylvania when he was hit by a driver yeah, who was man, cruising seriously fast. Boom. Luckily, everyone walked away from the crash uninjured. The police were called, and the other driver was found at fault because they'd been texting. Aaron has filed an insurance claim, and his insurance agent told him that they'll likely declare the Tesla a total loss. Let's watch that one more time on Multicam. Wham, bam, Tesla cam. Are you satisfied? Wham, I wonder where they got the camera at, cause that joint was still like rolling when they got hit. Like the spot they hit it at, it joint was still rolling. They got a good place, they got a good place where the camera to be at. This Model 3 owner was driving in downtown Los Angeles, California when a Honda made a left turn in front of her. Boom. She God, had no man. chance to stop and crashed right into the Honda. Emergency oh, services man. were quick to arrive at the scene and an argument about who was at fault ensued. Look, the police reviewed the Tesla cam footage while still at- We don't need to argue, you just look at my video. Shut, 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 shut your mouth. Look at my video. Shut, 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 shut your mouth, look at the video. So you know you're wrong, that's why you're arguing with me right now at the scene and saw clearly that the Honda driver didn't use their turn signal and had actually made an illegal left turn. There's even a no left turn sign hanging from the traffic light. All the airbags in the Tesla had deployed and it was declared a total loss by the submitter's insurance company. She ended up getting three weeks of medical treatment for her injuries, but thankfully she's now back on her feet. Tage Paul was driving his Model 3 in Sterling Heights, Michigan. He was sitting at a red light waiting to cross a street with traffic lined up in front of him. Traffic had left a gap in the line for him to cross when it was his turn, so when the light turned green, he started to sneak out to make his way through it. Unfortunately, one car ran a red light and hit him straight on. Ow. Tage Paul actually made us an animation to help us understand what had happened. Here he is in the blue car. When the light turned green, the red car came speeding through the red light and hit his Tesla. Police arrived at the scene and wrote a ticket to the other driver. Tage Paul has submitted an insurance claim and is waiting for their verdict. By the looks of it, we're guessing the insurance company will declare the Tesla a total loss. This would be a great salvage find for rich rebuilds. Noah was driving his Model 3 on Highway 401 in Toronto, Canada. Just as he passed a semi-truck, he noticed a car spinning out up ahead. Both Noah and the semi-truck slowed down, but the driver of a Cadillac behind them misjudged the situation and tried to overtake the semi-truck, causing them to crash into Noah's Tesla. Noah says autopilot kicked in after the accident, helping him steer between the cars ahead of him, but it couldn't stop him in time and he still ended up hitting the red car that had initially spun out and caused everyone to stop. The red car then drove off, leaving Noah behind at the scene of the accident. The Cadillac driver told the police that he thought someone was going to hit the truck. It just, it hit the Tesla. The camera was still like rolling and John didn't even go off or nothing. Hit him, so he tried to avoid them, hitting Noah in the process. Unfortunately for them, they 
got in a good spot where you don't get messed um, up. The footage shows this wasn't the case. Noble was able to walk away from the crash, and he adds he's infinitely grateful to Elon Musk and Tesla's team for creating this car. They got, uh, what you, well, how can I say it, a oh, wreck, wreck proof, a wet, a wreck proof camera. Damon was sitting at a red light in his Model 3 in Grand Prairie, Texas, when an SUV on the opposite side of the road suddenly ran the red light and started across the intersection. The SUV was T-boned by another car from the left, which sent it tumbling onto its roof before slamming into Damon's Tesla. Damon jumped out and rushed over to the driver of the SUV, who was hanging upside down inside the car. Damon asked, are you okay? He responded that he was, and Damon helped him out of the car. I know, no, I'm not okay. Help me out. Once out, the guy asked Damon, did I run that red light? Damon just nodded his head. They checked on the other driver, and luckily, everyone involved was okay. The police arrived moments later. The officers were happy they could view the Tesla cam video right inside Damon's Tesla. Thanks to the footage, they easily determined who was at fault, which also helped with the resulting insurance claims. Damon was able to drive his Tesla away from the crash site, and he's now waiting for a repair estimate from Tesla. If you shop on Amazon, you should use this Save tool. It's a browser down. extension that Tesla automatically... Deshaun was driving his brand new Model S Plaid in Plano, Texas, when the driver of a pickup truck started to block him on the highway. Deshaun says he had no idea what the other driver was up to and that he'd done nothing to aggravate him. He knew that a road rage incident involving a shooting had occurred on this highway recently, so that information was fresh in his mind. He split between cars in an attempt to put some distance between himself and the other driver. The truck driver followed his lead and started to catch up to him. He finally pulled up alongside the Tesla, and Deshaun says he saw the other driver was pointing something at him. Deshaun decided to make a run for it by taking a late exit. Deshaun couldn't tell what the guy was pointing at him, but he assumed it was a gun. He says he didn't see the other car in the exit lane, and there was also a barrier in his way. He barely avoided the barrier, but he ended up hitting the other car. When the police arrived, Deshaun tried to show them his Tesla cam video, but his car had shut down and he couldn't open the door to access the SSD drive. Without the video evidence, the cops told him they couldn't do anything about the truck driver's behavior. Luckily, the occupants of the other car were uninjured. Deshaun apologized to them for what had happened and took full responsibility for the accident. Deshaun's Model S Plaid was deemed a total loss by his insurance provider. He's placed an order for a new one, and it's being delivered this- I'll take that and fix that baby up, baby. Let me take this down and put it in my garage. Go ahead and buy some parts on it. This week. NM was driving his Model Y south on US Route 101 in San Luis Obispo, California. Rain was pouring down and he was driving five miles per hour below the speed limit with autopilot disengaged. He knew that sudden acceleration or braking might cause the car to hydroplane, so he was feathering the accelerator, but he still lost control. The Tesla hydroplaned into oncoming lanes. Due to sheer luck, NM managed to miss nearly all of the northbound traffic, but his luck finally ran out and he hit the rear axle of a big rig. His tires had around 16,000 miles on them. They were in good condition and not bald at all. NM says it was a miracle that he and his family were able to walk away from the accident considering the amount of damage to the car. The cabin experienced virtually no damage, but the frunk and the crumple zone absorbed nearly all of the impact. The California Highway Patrol, the emergency responders, and the tow truck driver were all quite surprised that they got out alive. He urges other Tesla drivers to drive slower in rainy conditions and disable regen braking if possible. The Tesla was deemed a total loss by his insurance provider. Steve was driving his Model 3 down a highway in Fort Worth, Texas. It was 2 a.m. and Steve had just gotten off work at his job as a healthcare worker. All of a sudden, he watched a wrong way driver hit the rear axle of a semi-truck before careening into him. 
The impact was so hard that the Tesla cam broke and the video feed cut out at the moment of impact. Miraculously, Steve was unharmed in the accident and was able to crawl out of the Tesla on the passenger side. Police responded to the scene and the driver of the pickup truck was arrested for driving under the influence. Steve's insurance provider declared his Tesla a total loss. I mean, I've seen that before. Somebody was riding on the wrong side of the road. It was like, I was, it was like, it was like three o'clock in the morning on the highway. And, uh, I seen it coming off the exit that I, that, um, that I was supposed to get off of. I was like, man, what the hell? And he's just driving. Driving the highway on the wrong side. Do you like? Do he know he's on the wrong side of the road? Andrew was driving his Model 3 in Los Angeles, California, when traffic backed up on U.S. Route 101. He stopped. The car behind him almost stopped, but the car behind them hit them both at highway speed. Dude. Ooh. Miraculously, everyone involved in this accident walked away. Andrew had no idea how serious the crash was until the next day when he saw this video. Yeah, at that point I see that accident in front of me, I'm like, I gotta hurry up and get the hell up out of here, baby. And now I feel like being stuck over here. His jaw absolutely hit the floor when he reviewed it. Andrew told us that Autopilot detected the collision and automatically steered around the vehicle in front of him. The Tesla okay. missed the car by inches and probably saved them from injury yeah, and definitely hard. saved them from insurance nightmares. The driver that had caused the accident paid for everything, including the medical bills of everyone involved. Andrew's Tesla was in the shop for four and a half months, but it's now back on the road. The other two cars were totaled. Here we see Rick. Curtis and his wife driving to dinner in their Model 3 performance in San Antonio, Texas. As they approached an intersection, the driver of a Mazda 5 made an illegal turn. When the car finally stops, we can actually see the hanging no left turn sign. The Mazda driver took full responsibility at the scene. Police and emergency services were called and nobody was taken to the hospital, but there were several people with minor injuries like cuts and bruises. The Model 3 was a total loss. Curtis got all of the money back for the car, plus all the extra features he paid for, including full self-driving, over 70,000 US dollars in total. Curtis and his wife used the money to order another Model 3 performance for him and a Model Y performance for her. After going through such a bad accident, Curtis trusts Tesla more than ever with the safety of his family. All the airbags deployed, but Curtis told us he felt safe the entire time, even as his car was spun around. The Mazda hit the driver's door, where he was sitting, nearly dead center, and he firmly believes the amazing collision safety of the Model 3 kept him out of the hospital. Buckle up. Robbie was driving his Model 3 westbound on Highway 4 in Concord, California. Traffic came to a complete stop, and so did Robbie, but the car behind him didn't. Robbie's Tesla was rear-ended, causing it to spin around. He hit the Hyundai in front of him and the Prius to his left before he rolled into the barrier. The driver of the Dodge didn't see the traffic had stopped until he was just a car's length away from Robbie. That's when the driver locked up his brakes before hitting Robbie at full speed. Incredibly, everyone involved was able to walk away from the accident. Unfortunately, Robbie had to be taken to the hospital by ambulance for some of his injuries. He was able to show the police his Tesla cam video while waiting for the ambulance to arrive. Robbie is now dealing with his insurance claim and his car has been deemed a total loss. Once everything is settled, he'll be ordering a new Tesla since, according to him, his Model 3 saved his life. Pretty soon, you know what I'm saying?
too much noise than y'all eat. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, hope y'all like the video. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and I'll let y'all later. Peace.